So this is another video showing the aftermath of the big flash flood we had last week. That was on Wednesday and this is on Tuesday, so it's been just a little under a week. And there's been nobody through this particular little bit of the canyon. The road is above me and the water obviously is directed to channel under the road. And there's no footprints in here, so you can see the beauty of the patterns that come after the water has flowed through. You can see the little green pine cones that were taken off the trees. The smell here today is very piney. And then down below me, this this is all sand right here, but down below me there's a pocket where a lot of clay swirled around and there are amazing patterns in there. You can see how behind a rock the water flows in and swirls and leaves its little mark there. Patterns are just amazing. Another deeper spot here. It's funny in a way, it reminds me of the roof of a mouth. These textures. Being down in here also helps blur the edge of time because you can see the sand and what was changed overnight here. But it's sitting right on rock that was formed in the same way. But things held still long enough that it actually turned to rock with the same patterns. <laughs> There are rocks, not right here, but down here in this desert, that hold the exact same ripples. But somehow, for a long enough period of time, no more water ran, no more wind blew, and it was held still enough that it actually turned to stone with the patterns of the weather. So it gets a little hard to tell what's rock and what's sand, what's new, what's going to blow away when the wind blows or when somebody steps on it. And what's going to stay here until it erodes over a long time. Here's a spot where that's especially clear, that there's a low spot in the rock that caught the swirling water in the sand. Oh, there's my coffee cup for scale. <laughs> but you can see that the swirls were caught eons ago in rock, turned to rock. So there's sand in the rock. and. The two are very closely tied. Part of what you're looking at is sand and part of it is rock. Can you see the difference?
So I'm looking from where I was just standing. Then there's a shelf of rock that drops. Virtually no sand caught here, but it got dropped when the water slowed down at the bottom. So there's deep sand down here. More great patterns. And then there are the places where it rained, and it rained hard and washed, but the leaves stayed still, and the pine cones, leaves, branches are all still there, just as they were before the rain. It's just amazing. Every square inch responds to the rain differently, depending on the angle it's sitting on, how fast the water's moving. Whether it's in the flow or just under the heavy rain. This little shelf right here just seems beautiful to me this morning. See the little tiny cacti growing there. Leaves and cones on the rocks. So all of this went through the same weather. It was just about three inches above the flood. <laughs> you can see the flood line in this bush that gathered the debris. lower here. The water really hit this wall hard. Took out a tree. Behind me you can hear a squirrel. Just before I started filming I heard a toad up ahead. This is really interesting to me. I had to retrace my steps because when I was here filming a second ago, I saw the dark patch up ahead and I was, it was really interesting. I, I know this canyon, I, I don't remember a big drop here. I thought, wow, this really washed out. <laughs> what I was looking at was the dark patch in there that from the side of my eye looked like a shadow under a wall and that I was really going to have a drop off here, but <laughs> stick with me. I'll show you what that actually is. So I came up here by the tree and looked around at what I thought was a drop off. and <laughs> Sure enough, I can continue.